Hey guys, J No Zero, how you doing? <clears throat> oh. Sunday afternoon, little coffee break. Holy crap, that's some good coffee. Damn, hell, that sun is right in my face. Um, <clears throat> I'm not a political dude. I'm not a. Uh, I'm not a political channel. I'm not a gun channel. I'm just, you know, I'm just me. I'm just, uh, I do what I do out here on the hill. And, uh, you know, we're just living life like any, any other American. Yeah, I know, I'm in a sleeveless shirt in January. Man, this has been a crazy, crazy weather ride of a, of a winter so far. But, uh, it is what it is. But, anyway, like I say, I'm not, I'm not, I don't do politics and stuff like that. <clears throat> I vote how I vote. I vote my conscience, and I vote uh, how I feel. And this 2014 is an election year. We need to all remember that and keep our eye on the ball. It, it, I don't mind it when politicians introduce legislation for whatever reason. They, you know, that's fine. Most of the politicians introduce legislation uh, because of their, uh, you know, fiduciary backers, the people who gave them money to get into office. They, uh, you know, they try to, to uh, promote legislation to benefit those people and not us, even though uh, we're supposedly the ones who elected them and they're supposedly representing us. <sighs> Unfortunately, it seems to me like most of the time that doesn't happen. We're not, we're not represented. <clears throat> we're not represented on the same level as the people who have, you know, the, the large corporate backing and stuff like that. Anyway, having said that, I really really do not like it when the politicians try to backdoor us with stuff. They'll, they'll make a law <clears throat> and then at the back of the law in the fine small print there's a whole bunch of other crap back there that they don't talk about. They, they're trying to sneak it in. <clears throat> you know, they're trying to sneak it in and cram it down our throat or cram it up our butts, whichever way, however you want to look at it. <clears throat> and I really don't like that. I'm an adult, you know deal with me like I'm an adult. Treat me like I'm an adult. You know, I'm not a child. I raised my children. I'm not a child. Uh, there's, uh, there's been uh, a couple occasions here very recently where they've tried to backdoor in, you know, some uh, gun registrations and, uh, you know, some of the whole anti-gun thing. And, you know, and people believe what they believe about guns. That's fine. To each his own. That's not my place to say you should do this or you should do that. You should vote this way, you should vote that way. You know, vote your conscience. That's what I do. I vote, you know, if something doesn't feel funky, you know, if something doesn't feel right, well then, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't want to go. I'll vote, you know, the way that I vote. <clears throat> That's my right. That's my duty as an American citizen. It's also my duty as an American citizen. How do I put this? Um... <clears throat> When people ask me, they'll see my guns. I have, I always, always, always have my primary sidearm and a backup sidearm uh, of a smaller caliber. Always. If I have any kind of clothing on whatsoever, I've got my gun belt on. They ask me, well, why you carry your, why you carry your guns? Well, I carry my guns first and foremost for defense of person and property here at my home place. Uh, if, uh, you know, if there's a, a coon or a possum out there scratching at the chickens, trying to chase that chickens down, or a, a stray dog or something, if it, usually a stray dog show up, I'll just crack a shot off of my little 22 and try to scare them away. Coons and possums, you know, shoot them, be done with them, <clears throat> skin them, throw them in the freezer. Bad guys, you know, whatever bad guys that may happen to show up out here with bad intentions. Uh, and, you know... Anytime, if I see, a, if I'm in town, I'm at the store, and I see a crime going on, I will intervene. Now that doesn't mean an armed intervention. Most things don't need an armed intervention. You see somebody trying to snatch some woman's purse in the Walmart parking lot, you yell at them, "Hey!" Most of the time, you're gonna, they're gonna run away, because that's what most criminals, criminals, most of the time, will run away. And if they decide that they want to stand up, then you know, then you can let them know that you're armed and go from there. But. Uh, and it's also a duty as a citizen of this country for me to protect this country. Uh, if we didn't have an armed citizenry, we wouldn't even be a country. Um, and I remind my children, especially uh, just back in World War II, when uh, you know Admiral Yamamoto, the Japanese Imperial uh, 
maybe they were at one point you know they were at one point actually planning uh, a mainland United States invasion and the reason that they did not is because we have an armed population and uh, his quote was that there would be a gun behind every blade of grass and so it's everybody's duty to defend our homeland and our country and we are an armed population for that very reason whether the enemies be foreign or domestic does anybody remember that oath has anybody ever taken that oath uh, has anybody ever said the Pledge of Allegiance um, protect our country um, protect the Constitution and defend the Constitution against all enemies foreign and domestic if anybody remembers that uh, then leave me a comment because I remember that and uh, I know there's a lot of people who have said that who are now uh, well they didn't seem to take it to heart we'll leave it at that but and a lot of them are, are our politicians our politicians should not be trying to govern every aspect of our daily life uh, telling us what we can and cannot do I'm an adult. Uh, if I'm doing something wrong, uh, um, then that's for the police to uh, to intervene and, and take care of any kind of criminal activity. But I don't know, man. I, I, I guess my whole point of this is I just don't like it. Uh, um, I don't feel represented, and I don't feel like the politicians are doing a very good job when they're trying to backdoor us and cram stuff up our butt or down our throat, um, even though they know that the the, the majority of our citizenry is uh, opposed or for a certain thing. They'll still try to cram it down our throat. And that's to be expected uh, in politics at a certain level, but uh, there's got to be a time when we the people say, you know what, we're tired of this shit, you know? And what do we do first and foremost? Our first and foremost tool is our vote. Uh, I am not real happy with the way things are going, and when it comes time to vote, I will use my power of voting to try to instigate a change. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people who leave comments, well, it's too late for changing shit with voting. You can't ever change stuff by voting. Well, where do you start? You have to start somewhere. We have to use our power of vote to try to change. If our power of vote becomes obsolete, then you can look at other options. But I'm telling you from experience, armed conflict is not the way to try to instigate any kind of change because it's no fun. It's not a good thing at all, not even a little. So, therefore, I go back to my power vote. That is my way of telling the government how I feel personally. Uh, my vote. So, and that's what I'm going to do. And this is an election year. And if we are unhappy with the way things are going, we, as a citizenry, can use our power of vote to, um, to make a change. And I hope that we do see some changes pretty soon because I fear for our country and our future. I teach my children about uh, certain aspects of our history because I don't feel like our education system is doing a very good job. I feel like the education system is trying to dumb our children down that way in 20 years from now, whenever my generation, generations uh, like mine who remember what it's like to be free and remember the, the years when we started off a new year and did not have 40,000 new laws that were going to go into effect. That, those are going to be, you know, if we don't teach our children, we can't expect the schools to teach our children that stuff uh, because they're not going to. Because I believe that eventually they're going to have uh, all these generations dumbed down to the point to where they don't remember what it's like to be free and they're just going to be okay with whatever the government says is okay. And that's not okay. <laughs> that's why we have our Constitution and certain amendments in our Constitution to prevent government tyranny and total control of our lives and uh, the total takeover of everybody's daily life. Uh, that is called tyranny and that is unacceptable. And we have to keep our children um, educated with certain aspects of our history and with certain aspects of our country uh, so that when they grow up they can be like, well wait a minute, that's not right. This is what it says and this is what it meant and this is what, you know, my dad's generation was doing and what they did and this is what uh, my grandfather's generation, well they had this war and this is why they fought that war uh, and so we gotta educate our kids and uh, my responsibility is to my children and I'm doing that and I hope that uh, everybody has their responsibility with their children to educate them on our actual history and our actual uh, right and what it's like to be freedom, you know, what it's like to be free and to have freedom because it's a good thing 
and there's very few countries left on the planet who have the freedom that we have. Uh, and there's even some spots within our country that does not have the freedom that I have in the, in the area that I live. So we got to keep aware. We got to keep up the fight and remember that this is an election year. I'm not saying to go out and get all crazy politically activists and put thousands of signs in your yards and have bumper stickers everywhere and be out on the corner on your soapbox. No, it ain't, you ain't got to do all that. If you want to do that, more power to you. Go right ahead. I'm not telling you not to. I'm not telling you to. I'm just saying, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> be yourself, man. You know, be yourself. If you want to put a bumper sticker on, more power to you. But don't expect everybody to agree with that bumper sticker. And, uh, and if you're doing what you feel is right, then uh, by all means, have a great time with it. But uh, we also need, you know, make sure we keep our eye on the big picture because we want to remain a free country. At least I would hope that most of us want to remain a free country. So I hope that made sense. I don't know if I'm just rambling. Maybe I just need to shut up and drink my coffee. And going about my day. Damn hell, there's a lot of traffic on the road today. Mabel. Good girl. So, all right, y'all, um, <clears throat> I'll stop this here. Uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate all the viewers, um, and I really hope everybody has a, a good day, and I really hope everybody keeps their eye on the ball uh, in this coming election. So, uh, God bless us, every one of us, and uh, in the end. Buzz, buzz, the end.